The Joe Rogan Experience. Did I ever tell you I used to be on the radio? The radio? Yeah. I've told you this before. In another life? No, when I was like seven years old. I was on um, Kiss FM. Did you tell me this? I have. Really? Yeah, Ryan Seacrest is the host of it, probably. Yeah. Why did I not remember that? I don't know. Was it it good? Yeah, I mean, I had a job working as a radio personality for like four years from third grade until sixth really? grade. Yeah, making prank phone calls. No, yeah, I don't think you told me this. I've told you. Did you tell me on the air? No. You told me in real life. I told you in real life. I don't know if you did. I don't remember. Do you remember this? Mm-hmm. I've heard, I mean, I've heard this, her talk about it before. I don't But I was like a mini, I was like a little mini celebrity in my hometown. You know, like my dad would, he, I remember one time he had to get a rental car and they were going to give him like, you know, a Toyota or something. And he's like, do you listen to Kiss FM? Do you know Lil Alley? It's my daughter. Can I get a convertible? He picked me up from school in a new, like a nicer rental car or something. Wow. Yeah. But I mean, even that was hard and that was like nothing. How the nothing. fuck did that happen? I called in randomly. My sisters listened to Kiss FM. When we would get ready for school, we'd listen to you it. You were seven? I was seven. No one's watching you? My dad was home. My dad was home and Asleep. my sisters were home, probably, yeah. And you just grabbed the phone and started dialing numbers? I asked my sister, I said, I want to call into the radio station. I want to like request a song or something. And uh, my sister's like, I'm not giving you the number. You're going to embarrass me. All my friends listen to this station. <laughs> and so she tries calling in. She doesn't get through. My dad takes her to school. Me and my other sister are at home. I press redial on the phone. And I immediately get through, and now I'm panicking. I don't know what to say. And I'm like, can I get Britney Spears tickets? Talking to Ryan Seacrest, and he's like, can you sing a Britney Spears song? So I'm like seven years old singing Toxic by Britney Spears, just being like, the taste of your lips, I'm on a ride. And after I sing this song, he's like, oh, we don't have Britney Spears tickets, but we have American Idol tickets. And I was like, I'll only go if they're VIP. And Is that what you said? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then That's we're hilarious. just having a conversation back and forth. He's like, where are your parents? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Dad's out. It's like seven in the morning. And so then I ended up getting a job making prank phone calls for them. How did it end? It ended with me not being little anymore. and They didn't like you anymore? No, I was too old. I was like 12. Is that really what happened? They, yeah. So I had a contract that would like you know expired and then they wanted to renew it but in a different way and sign on to ryan's production company but my dad wanted to pimp you out yeah whoa and you want a piece of you yeah really yeah what kind of piece i think they want like 20 percent of everything you do Uh from there on out i think so whoa and my dad was like that's too much and so (sighs) we didn't end up doing if your stand-up career took off you'd be ryan Seacrest bitch. Mm. So for the rest <laughs> of your career, if you had signed that, it, may, it might be for life. Yeah, but I don't think it would have been for, for life. life. You produced, Forever. You produced the Kardashian show. Forever and ever and ever. I always tell my dad we could have been the Makovskis, keeping up with the Makovskis. Yeah, you fucked up, dad. No, but I'm so grateful because, I mean, I don't know if anything would have come of that or anything, but like I'm glad I got to eat lunch in the bathroom alone in high school and like have all of those. You know, just awkward moments, weird, awkward, uncomfortable isn't it, moments. Isn't that funny that at the time you think of them as being the worst thing ever, and then later on you realize there's kind of a gift in some of that weird angst? Catch new episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience for free only on Spotify. Watch back catalog JRE videos on Spotify, including clips. Easily, seamlessly switch between video and audio experience. On Spotify, you can listen to the JRE in the background while using other apps and can download episodes to save on data cost all for free. Spotify is absolutely free. You don't have to have a premium account to watch new JRE episodes. You just need to search for the JRE on your Spotify app. Go to Spotify now to get this full episode of the Joe Rogan Experience.